Hello, welcome folks. Here we are with my buddy Don Tolman. He's uh, here in Glen Garden Grove, California, doing a seminar with Key Potentials. And uh, I came up to uh, do a short interview with Don to catch up with him. And I've been studying a lot about mirror neurons, how we have a part in our brain that can actually be activated when we just see somebody do something. So we don't actually have to go through the motions, but we can see and our brain is imagining it's like doing that. They discovered this in about 2007 in uh, Italy with uh, using uh, monkeys and watching monkeys eat bananas and then other monkeys mimicking that by just visualizing it and those areas of the brain lit up. So my question to Don today, uh, international nutritionist, a world traveler, living amongst the ancient blue zone cultures, uh, promoting health and wellness through nutrition and lifestyle, is how can we use today's technology of uh, mirror neurons to activate a way of producing health, helping people uh, live better lifestyles, or taking somebody from cancer and having them mimic, rather than disease and cancer, uh, life once again. So, take it away, Dad. <laughs> <laughs> you know, it's very fascinating because within the human experience, they've known for thousands of years and have written about it talked about it in oral traditions passed from one generation to the next uh, of the healers and the scholars, those who observe. And in today's neurosciences, uh, they have discovered that there's somewhere, no one's got it and counted them yet, but the approximation is there's somewhere between 100 billion to 200 billion neurons. And that's not counting the dendritic branching and structures and all the different parts of the cerebrum, cerebellum, you know, the corpus callosum, all the different things they've tried to name about the brain and try to figure it out. But the anciently they believed that we are a microcosm of the entire cosmos. And of course, cosmos means beautiful woman, or it did, clear up till the 1700s, then it became ordered beauty. It's where the word cosmetics comes from, from the Isle of Cosmos, just off the coast of Greece. It is the beauty of the harmonics of the physics of nature. And, you know, it's interesting because astrophysicists today, they estimate that in our galaxy, there's somewhere between 100 to 200 billion suns, or bright stars like our sun. And so what the ancients believed is that the brain was a microcosm of the galaxy, which word means mother's milk. Our galaxy is called the Milky Way for that reason. And mother's milk and the nature of the harmonics of the feminine is what the ancients believed could nurse you, honor you, care for you, and reflect into you the healing forces. And so different cultures had different words and different names of how this all tied together. But what if the neurons of the brain actually do have a bioacoustical connection to all the different stars in the galaxy? What if we are more profound than when any of us have allowed our imaginations today to really get into and begin to comprehend and understand? Imagination leads to the actual experience of future. And that's where the word if comes from. A lot of people don't like the word if. I love it because it means imagination's future. What if? And so when people want to heal themselves, let's say that they have cancers, let's say they have all these other different diseases they come up with in name. What if imagination's future in a harmonic with a bioacoustical physics of the galaxy in which we live could actually oscillate, and vibrate, and go through not only 10,000 trillion cells of the human body, but even connect to those loved ones and others who are reflecting and picturing and imaging and wanting you to be healthy and to come back into wholeness. That was a concordance, meaning everyone was in the same harmonic pattern. It's where the word concord great comes from to concord, to harmonize. And it's interesting because when I found these crystal bowls in different collections, the researchers and the keepers of the collections had gone in. They saw residues in the bottoms of the bowl. 
with electron microscopes and chemical analysis and frequencies, they found out that most typically it was grape juice or wine, naturally fermented red wine from the red Concord grapes. And that's why they named them Concord grapes. They hang in the shape of the heart, which is the treasure chest of knowledge and healing. And so they would put the grapes in the bowl, play the bowl with that person that needed healing, while they were imagining a quick future healing, sometime within seconds, minutes, overnight. Let me bring the bowl over here so you guys can see what that's talking about. So in all of this, they knew that it was a harmonic reflection. Then they understood there's different physical structures and masses of the body that some people refer to in certain cultures as the chakras. In modern medicine, they call it the neuroendocrine glands. And the notes that are played in a harmonic of the entire seven notes of the octave play up through the body. The reason they made these crystal bowls in the egg shape is because that's actually more of the shape of the earth. Instead of being as perfectly round, it is more of an oval. And the pattern that it follows around the sun goes from a circle into a oval pattern as it goes around uh, in its annual surface. And even in 60 to 80 year increments, which creates cold ages and warm ages. And so it just follows that pattern. Well, your body as a microcosm has the same thing. A lot of people might notice there's different times of day and even at night, they heat up and then they cool. And again, it goes back to these beautiful technologies of the crystals because quartz crystal, they have discovered is fossilized water. That's what it is. It's water that got trapped under pressure and in heat and over time and distance crystallizes. Well, your body, they estimate, is about 70% water. It's liquid quartz crystal. The brain is about 93% liquid quartz crystal, what they call hydronians. And so as you get into the motor neurons and the mirror neurons and all of these other things are trying to study to comprehend and find out, you find out that they knew that anciently. They used to walk up to clear, calm pools of water and lean over and reflect in it. And mirror comes with the word miracle. The mirror neurons creates a miracle of understanding within an individual. And I'm glad they're testing it in monkeys and different animals. But in the human experience, the most beautiful thing to me is like the word hue in human. means all that is good, what people today call God. Man, in that instance, meant hand. It's like the insect, the praying mantis. It means praying hand. So human means the hands of all that is good. They believe that when you use this kind of crystal and you play that and try to match the sound of that with your voice and you imagine what it is that you want to heal or strengthen within this geometric microcosm of all of the energies that exist, that it's the mirror neurons that can see things and behaviors and expressions on people's faces that you pick up and interpret. And you can either block it or embrace it. And it's so interesting to me that the mirror neurons is the ability that humans and other animals have to see other people's behaviors, to see their expressions, to feel their energy. And it really comes down to intuition. Intuition. Tuition means to pay for. Intuition means not to pay for. When we use our intuitive knowledge, it is a free gift 
of the entire cosmological energies that can reveal to you an entire cognitive understanding of a behavior that you need to stop or that you need to embrace. To me, that was the power of what they referred to as the mirror neurons, is to have an intuitive moment of creative genius and understandings and download that is direct to you. Are you doing things that are toxic? Are you doing things that are creating deficiency? And you become aware of those things and you can heal it, fulfill it, stop it, clear it, let it go, and then find yourself happy and healthy. Yeah, I've had uh, some patients come into my office um, and they didn't tell me what was going on. I just said, let's start with the skull first and see what happens and then we'll go into treatment. And several people had a really rough week or a really bad day and almost were going to come in and start crying. And I just said, hold that space. And I just played the bowl for just a few moments. And I remember one lady saying, Dr. Yoder, I can't explain it, but I feel like a little girl. I want to hop and skip like I'm in a, a big meadow and just I feel free. And another gentleman said, uh, that was really loud. I feel like I'm vibrating. And it was almost, I, I feel like I just drank like a whole bunch of caffeine. And that evening and the next day, he was still vibrating. But then the second time, he was a lot calmer and it uh, uh, calmed his body more. What, what do you think happened in that case? <laughs> I think both of those people activated the mirror, the mirror neurons that you're talking about and had a perfectly clear understanding as the vibration stayed within them. In one case, just in a few moments, she felt like a little girl and had to bounce it. In the other, it took all day through the night to the next day. But that frequency oscillates until that person Finds that intuitive understanding and breakthrough. And I think those are two perfect examples. And I just love who you are, Thank you. everything that you do, the hundreds and hundreds of people that you feel and know. I just love that. This is the revolution of self care yes. and healing with one another in a harmonic. Yes. I notice also for my regular patients before I adjust them. If I just play this again for just 30 seconds to a minute, the adjustment is already halfway done or I don't even have to do much because it's like their body's vibrating. So beautiful. It, it is. And that's the power of ancient wisdom being brought back to the people. Okay. Well, thank you, uh, ladies and gentlemen, and uh, patients and uh, followers for uh, Staying in tune with uh, Don Tolman as I catch up with him as he travels around the world, educating, inspiring people. Uh, his information is on his website, thedontolman.com. I am Dr. David Yoder. You can follow me at davidyoderwellness.com. Thank you. Thank you. Love you, man. <laughs>